Dan Arndt. I'm a sales rep for Titan here in Saskatchewan and I'm going to bring you today's Titan tip. Today I'm going to talk about the installation and general guidelines of putting down our Titan swamp grid. The first part of that is actually the site preparation. Site preparation, you want to make sure that all of the debris or any type of large rock is actually removed from the site. Now on to part two, and that's laying out your rolls on your job site. These rolls, you're going to want to lay them adjacent to each other, anywhere from 16 inches to 30 inches, and that's based on the ground conditions of the job site. Now if you've got firm ground conditions, you're going to want to overlap them 16 inches. Now if you have softer spongy ground conditions, you're going to want to overlap them 20 inches. And for extreme poor conditions, you're going to want to overlap them at least 30 inches. Now on to step three, and that's backfilling and spreading material over your swamp grid. Now you don't want to drive on the swamp grid without any material on it, you don't want to damage it. So based on your ground conditions, you want at least six inches of material on it while you're spreading. You may require more if you have soft or very poor ground conditions. Step four, simply compacting the backfill that you've spread out over top of your Titan grid. Once that's done, you may want to use a vibratory compactor or a static compaction based on how soft your ground conditions are. In the end, you want to hit a 95% proctor of that uh, material you have spread out. And once that's in place, you've got a nice, firm, solid ground condition. For more information on Titan Swamp Grid, visit our website at www.titanenviro.com. I'm Dan Arndt. Thank you for watching.